I look at this uh, picture, I look at Mother Earth. I look at her waiting for us near the North Pole. The pole or the rod that she is holding in her in her arms uh, is the rod of Asclepius. The serpent symbolizes the Aurora Borealis. And the children that are gathered next to her are the 144,000 who have shed one drop of their blood with the intention to bring heaven on earth. I, um, I live near the pole, the North Pole. And I would say that there are many things that happen here that don't happen in other lands. I was born in a warm country. My eyes are dark and so is my skin. And you can say that I am special because I am very different than the way the earth or the way the Aurora Borealis makes people in this area. And uh, I see this year after year when you get the dark genes of a person mixing with the light genes of another the dominant genes are the lighter ones. In the rest of the world, it's the opposite. That is why we believed what they taught us at school. My belief is the reason why the lighter genes are dominant here is because the Aurora Borealis has something to do with changing a person. If we take samples, percentages of the population around the world, we realized that the lighter genes are scarce compared to the darker ones. Not one set of genes is better than the other. They are all beautiful. But the point and my wondering about this came from observing my, my distant relatives, my great grandparents who had lighter genes. And uh, in my land, we, we the children, ended up inheriting the darker uh, eyes and the dark hair and so forth. So I was always intrigued about this. Also in a land where 99.7%, we can say, have dark genes, then looking at somebody with lighter genes, for example, lighter blue eyes or green eyes uh, well that always used to catch our attention and it is a natural thing my black hair is actually praised in this land because everybody the natives they have blonde hair and so it is exotic to see somebody with black hair. Um, so I was always curious about how this happened. 
And uh, now, after understanding more of what happens in our world, I meditate upon the saying that the eyes, that the eyes of uh, the body, are the window to the soul. Coincidentally, soul also means soul, sun. What are they trying to tell us? The window to the sun? We know that there are two suns. And when I say we, I mean those who have been studying the the road less travel the black sun is uh, the one that is not easy to see but it is the one that makes our intent come into fruition and it is at the center of the earth. So can it be that the eyes of those who unknowingly by living closer to the Aurora Borealis are bearing testimony that they that this place exists and the folk from around the world who will be captivated by the differences of those who come from the land of the Borealis looking at these eyes is intriguing and it is it is a clue as to what lies in these lands. I am not talking about that one set of eyes is better than the other. All I'm talking about is that we are going to expire, die in other words, unless we get to the center and drink of the waters of non-mortality, also known as the waters of eternal life. I am saying that there are some mutations and they don't take thousands of years. I see in this land a father and a mother with brown eyes and I see a child that has green eyes. And I mean a child that resembles the father. And people can go ahead and explain it. Yeah, the grandparents had the light color eyes. Yes, the grandmother had the light color eyes. What I'm saying is, there is a power. There is something going on that is making our genes mutate. The people of this land have skin so smooth that it just makes you wonder. It makes you wonder. In our society, we have certain beings that are not interested in us finding out the truth. So they have come up with answers to possible questions we might have. For example, let's venture to find these waters. Then they say, well, the seas are dangerous. Then we say, well, what about if we go north? Then it's very cold. There's a lot of ice. What about if we go south? Well, there's a lot of ice also. 
what about if we just go to the left and we keep on walking to the left or taking a boat to the left then you will end up right where you started because the earth is a globe and you will just circumnavigate it we know also that the earth most likely being flat also can be navigated circumnavigated and you will come to the same point and i like to say that the earth is most likely flat because in everything that i have observed i would say the earth is flat however i cannot say with 100% certainty that i have gone all over and i have seen with my own eyes and 100% the earth is flat but one thing i can say is that i am going to go and test this i am going to devote my life i am devoting my life my will is to go and drink of these waters that i believe exist and they are at the north pole that is why numbers 21:9 talks about how there was a serpent on a rod put by moses this character and everyone that looked at the serpent serpent didn't die he didn't expire i think that is talking to us and that we should go to look at that serpent and we know the rest of the story that there is waters of eternal life and one must drink of the waters in many religions around the world there are people being baptized they are immersed into the waters and then they come up they are rebirth and this is there are passages upon passages talking about this i say this waters are there and don't believe the documentaries you watched about how there is so much eyes and just eyes and eyes there are also stories and maps that show different pieces of land in that region i say we go and practice some science of course one must know that in order to be admitted into this lands one must declare it its intent and that is done with one drop of blood over the words i intend to bring heaven on earth love to all